I'm gonna show you guys how to change over a 1775 Max Merge 5E planter uh, from a large grain like corn or soybeans to a uh, small grain. Uh, we're do doing sorghum, uh, milo, so I'll show you how to change over this planter. First thing we'll do is we'll come to the underneath the CCS and we'll is get a bag, a grain bag for your your corn seed or soybeans, and empty out this uh, hopper. Use this center slide, empty out as much as you can there, and then uh, then you can go through and open up each one of these individually. Make sure it's all the way cleaned out. Uh, put your fingers in there, get everything that's loose. You want every seed out of there because it will plug up your uh, your new seed discs for your small seed. So you'll clean all those out and, and close those on both sides. After that, you can run up into your cab or your tractor and you want to unfold the planter into the planting position. Okay, now that this is unfolded, you'll want to put uh, these blocks on You'll have four blocks two on each side and you'll put them on your cylinders here You put I uh, have these marked, but you want one on each set of tires. So you put one here and Then one in the middle on this side one in the middle on that side and one on the outside uh, something to keep in mind is uh, This this is your ground height sensor um, on this wheel um, if this could be on your inside one, but don't put a block on this one because uh, you'll want this wheel to be able to move. Once you have those blocks in place on your cylinders, you will run up into your tractor and go into plant mode. And what you'll do is you'll push down on your SCV1 just like you would be if you were planting. And what will happen is... Uh, your your ones that are blocked will stay up of course but then the ones that aren't will come all the way up and then your planter will think it's planting uh, what that'll do is be able to kick on your fan if your fan doesn't kick on uh, with that make sure your your SCV1 is uh, in the constant down pressure just like planting in the lock position but you can turn this uh, manual CCS blower switch on as well. So what that'll do is that'll blow uh, air through your seed tubes all the way through to your hoppers. And what you want to do is grab your yellow uh, hopper catch. Ours is mounted on the right side of the stairway here. And you'll catch, you'll set it up right here and you'll open up these doors and catch, open up the doors, take your seat plates off and catch all the grain that falls through. Uh, there will be air pressure kind of shooting that grain down into there a little bit. So while you have these doors off catching the seed, uh, you might as well take these seed plates off and replace them with your uh, Milo seed plates. Our Milo seed plates are already in here, but you'll want to put those back in. Uh, the other thing is your knockout wheels on your door. You'll want to replace those with your uh, correct matching knockout. So your door is open and your seat plate's off. You'll want to open this top slide door and on your other discharge elbows, they have holes for your large seed. Um, you want to, you know, clean those out while they're in there, while it's still blowing air through. You know, poke any debris that's out of there with a with a pick, and then you want to pull these out and put in uh, the correct uh, discharge elbows. These with the slits are the correct ones for small seed. Make sure this card is back in place and make sure there's no other debris, corn seeds, uh, soybean seeds in this area. You want to push that all back down through 
into your catch. The last thing you want to do before you turn your fan off is come under here underneath your CCS hoppers and just uh, open these trap doors up and while the, while the air is blowing in there, turn everything up and just empty those, clean them out one more time. That air circulating through there uh, should be uh, plenty to blow it around. Just open up all your trap doors, scoop everything out, make sure all your seeds are clear from your uh, CCS hoppers. After you clean out your CCS hoppers uh, with the fan on, you can go ahead and go up into your cab and turn your SCV on. Uh, lift it up like you'd be lifting up the planter onto the ground while you're planting. Uh, that'll kick your fan off and you won't need your tractor on uh, for the rest of this. So you can uh, just show your tractor down and you'll grab the yellow the yes, yellow nozzle. I think they're called the uh, seed nozzles. They're little yellow circular rings. Show you in here, but we have we have uh, uh, seed in here right now. So I'll, t I'll actually take a, a picture of the book here real quick. So this is the uh, nozzle insert I was talking about. It's a little yellow piece that screws up into the bottom of your CCS. This is the bottom uh, trap doors you were opening, and up here these little deals just clip in there, uh, just like that. What that does is uh, prevents too many small seeds. Um, getting uh, packed full into your into your seed tubes uh, just because they're a smaller size. After you have those uh, nozzle inserts in place, the next thing you want to do uh, for an insert is your seed tube, uh, small seed seed tube inserts. So uh, those go in here. These are already in here. I'll show you. These uh, latch open just to get to your uh, seed tube like normal. And down here, you can see there is a seed tube insert. I will pull it out here. Um, what this does is it lets your smaller seed come closer to your sensor, so uh, that way you can get a proper uh, proper reading with your sensor since the seeds are smaller and harder to see. So those just drop in just like that, press them in by hand. It's nice and snug, and then you can put your uh, hopper back on. Now, of course, whenever you're reinstalling your hopper, you want to make sure it fits in there snug. You shouldn't lift up too hard on this. It should be like a one, one finger lift up type deal. And then you'll make sure your seal is uh, correctly in place all the way around. So the last thing you can do after that is go back and take your cylinder blocks out put them back on the cylinder block racks and you should be good to go. After that, while you have it at the shop um, doing all that stuff, you might as well grease it, check your bearings, uh, blow out your air filter on your tractor, refuel, grease the tractor, grease this, check over your fittings, make sure any rub points are covered and not completely through anytime soon. After all that, you'll probably want to change your seating depth. So we want ours, I figured this to be roughly about an inch and a half. I got three showing on this side and four on this side. Uh, so I change the seed, seed depth for that. That's what we'll plant Milo at. It's about an inch and a half, inch and three quarter. After that, um, for Milo, they recommend to run like a, I think it's like 12 to 14, 12 to 14 on your vacuum pressure uh, up on your cab, which you change on the monitor. Um, on, the, on the 4630 that we have, uh, it's pretty simple. And the only other thing is the uh, on your work setup, uh, you find work setup and you just change your seed instead of corn. You click on corn and change it to sorghum and that it changes your seed plates in there automatically. If you're running the high rate seed plates, yeah, you have to go in there and specify that you're running the high rate seed plates. Uh, just go to a, the standard uh, seed plate if you're not running the high rates. After all that, you 
want to do some extra stuff, we have the 2x2 two two openers. You can check, check your zip ties. Make sure all your zip ties are in place. Nothing's leaking, nothing's out of place. Pull little stocks out for the wiring. Check the wiring. Make sure nothing's twisted or tied up or uh, not coming here. Pull your stuff out. Regular service stuff. And that's it. I think I'll go through a quick uh, checklist to make sure you got it all. You got to uh, fold up, empty your hoppers, um, unfold, put your blocks on the wheels, uh, go into plant mode, put your SCV1 down, turn your which turns your fan on or turn the switch on the fan on if it doesn't. Um, throw your uh, yellow seed catcher next to your seed hoppers. Uh, clean out, take off your door, take off your uh, knockout wheels, take off your seed plates, clean all the seed out of there. Um, slide your top door open, clean that out, clean your discharge elbow, uh, and then you'll want to change. Put the new, the new small seed discharge elbow on, small seed uh, disc plates, and your matching knockouts. And then after that, um, while your fan's still running, clean out your uh, bottom of your CCS again. Then you're good to turn the fan completely off. And then uh, in the bottom of the CCS, insert those yellow uh, tube nozzles for the small seed. Um, and then in your uh, hoppers, individual hoppers, you'll have your seed tube inserts uh, for, the, for the sensors. And then change your, one thing I did forget, is change your double eliminator to zero. Um, you want to change this to zero on your double eliminator for small seeds. Yep. Double eliminator to zero. And uh, then after that, you should be good. You'll take your, take your uh, red blocks, block chocks off your hydraulics. And then you're good to do normal service. Grease, air filters, radiators, wiring, hoses. Uh, make sure your depth is where you want it change your depth and uh, change your vacuums on your planter turn your vacuums down to or 12 to 14 and uh, and your seed on your monitor change your settings your work summary to sort them and that's that's all she wrote